All right, guys, welcome. I'm back. We're going into the next portion of making the meat. And what we're going to do is, like I said before, we've got this uh, five gallon bucket, food grade bucket, full of the meat in it. And like I said before, there's a scum that's going to form on the top. Well, today we've got one last thing to take off. And then we're going to take the meat from this and put it into this carboy. So once I get this scum taken off, we'll kind of move things around where you guys can see it a little bit and we'll get the process and I'll show you how we're gonna end this and get ready to leave it and let it set in the carboy for about uh, eight weeks. And, and once a month during those eight weeks, we're gonna be racking it and that'll be the next thing we do. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and take that off and I well whenever it comes time we'll grab that but all I gotta do is take this and you just want to lightly go across the top of the thing there and you just want to get this last little bits of stuff that's been thrown to the top and all it is is just byproducts and stuff from the yeast doing its thing Don't want to do this too fast because you will oversettle it and then you'll have to wait for it to come back up again and I really don't want to do that. But it was very heavy, it was very thick for several, several days. So that's actually a good thing because that tells me that the yeast was at least good enough to, you know, get it to throw as much of this off as we can. We got one good little spot right here that we're gonna take off. We're gonna get these last little bits right here. And we got one big splotch right here. We just got one more big thing to take out. And you don't really you lose a lot, you're just taking off of the scummy stuff, so you're not going to lose a whole big bunch of this uh, out of the out of the general mead population itself. It's just a five gallon bucket. So take all together. You're probably going to 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 take off probably I don't know maybe uh, five gallons or make make maybe maybe a maybe, uh, uh, fifth of a cup or maybe two cups. So. We've got this. We're going to go ahead and set this down on the floor right here. Now, we have to get, for right now, we've got to get this into the carboy. And what we're going to do is I'm going to move this over just a hair. And bring this more over into the shot so you guys can see. Now, we're going to use the magic of gravity and eventually this thing's going to come off the floor and into this and we'll show how this goes as it ends up but first thing I want to do is turn right around here and what I've done is I've taken this this is the racking cane and this is a, a, a hose and what this will do is I'll put this down into the uh, liquid mixture here the the mead and put this hose into the top right here and it's going to fill up. And what I want to do, well, I'll show you what happens as we get towards the end of it. But um, what I'll do is as it gets to the top, I'll check the level. And then if it needs a little bit more water, we'll put some water into it. So we're going to go ahead. Bring that racking cane in there. Kind of get that a little bit of the sludge off the bottom. This will be the last little bit of water that gets the last little bit of anything there so we're going to set that right there and then we're going to
try this. Okie dokie, well we're going to do it this way then. Just simply because it's not, it's so... We're going to move this on here just a little bit more uh, safer. Okay. Uh, now, let's see what we get out of the uh, gravity. Put that in right there a little bit better where you guys can see it. And hopefully this will work. Now, we just got to wait, and uh, what I'll do is I will let this go for a little bit, let you see what it looks like as it fills up, and uh, yeah. Alright guys, well I'm going to go ahead and click off the video and then we will bring this back uh, when we get to the next part of this. So, I will see you guys here in a few minutes. Alright guys, we are done with getting that up. I had a couple of little things that I had to take care of. But now we're almost done. So first, you notice that the carboy is pretty much full. But what I'm wanting to do is I'm wanting to go up a little bit higher on the elbow. First off, this here is a fermentation lock. It's got a bone and it's got this little contraption that you fill up with distilled water, this one side of it. And this is what, this is gonna bubble. And gases are gonna escape and go up in here so that it doesn't let air in. And over the next eight weeks, we're gonna keep an eye on this and uh, you know, just let it do what it's gonna do. And uh, in four weeks, we're gonna check it out and we're gonna rack it, so that'll be the next video. But I wanted you guys to see this at the very least so that you know what it is. So the first thing I'm gonna do before I fill up, and that's been sanitized, we're going to take and we're just going to pour a little bit of water in here to kind of bring it up past the shoulder a little bit. A little bit more, a little bit more, a little bit more. And a little bit more. Plus by going by the past the shoulder, then I get I get to make sure that I get extra bottles, so we're going to go a little bit further. And what we might do is on our next racking, we're, we're probably just going to put like a quarter, a quarter of the bottle for the, uh, the next thing of flavoring. 
So what we're going to do is we've got that. And next thing, all I got to do is take this off. And here it is. This is the contraption. It's got a lid. And you're going to fill up one of these chambers. And that's going to give you kind of like a burp effect so that none of the air gets in. So we're just going to take, we're going to pour just a little bit of this in here. Just a little bit more. A little bit more. Because that's, you know, we're going to take we're going to put this lid back on. We're going to put this lid back on because we're probably going to need more water. And then here in a little bit, I'm going to have to clean up. But So we've got our, our reservoirs filled with as much water as we need, about equal. And then I'm going to go ahead and set the bung on this. And like I say, here in the next four weeks, we're going to go ahead and take this and check it out. And we're going to go through the journey together. We're going to finish this up. And when it comes down to it, you guys will get to see me bottle it. And then we'll, we'll drink a bottle. Then the rest of it's going to be put up and saved for perpetuity. So, Reverend Savannah's Tree Walker, the Lord standing up, and of Raven Temple, CX Wicca. And this is the next process for making raspberry mead. And uh, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and cut the video. And oh, and while you're at it, like, comment, subscribe, and check out my Patreon. Patreon link will be in the description. And also, we've got a 400 uh, subscriber giveaway that we're still giving away for. And our new ritual athame for the 600 subscriber uh, video giveaway. So look out for that stuff and I will see you all next time.